This project we're carrying out at present is for Shell Harbour City Council. It's an app trail project which they put out tenders, which we submitted a, put in a submission for. And we're carving a totem pole, which will be one of five different projects that the council have engaged in. Presently we'll have a number of carvers who are carving the fauna from Shell Harbour Lake, Lake Illawarra. It's all, in, all the fauna around the lake which we have uh, taken photographs of and now we're carving them. It's uh, a 300 millimetre pole, 2.4 meters long which we had split in half and we are actually carving the, uh, the, the flat side of the, the When we finish it it will be mounted on a 45 degree angle each and we will then keep an eye on it as regards to the maintenance for the weather etc. The project is to cut um, for the Shell Harbour Wood Cut uh, for the Shell Harbour Council. So we've had a a paddling pole uh, supplied by council was 300 millimetres in diameter. We had a split down the centre form two sections. We sanded the flat section no so we could no superimpose the images on it. And these images were of fish and birds that inhabit the lake. The pole is originally was 300 millimeters diameter, uh, 2.4 millimeters long, which we had cut in halves, and we carved on the flat side to give a more impact. When we finish it, it'll be mounted on a 45 degree angle to here, which is taken from the Shell Harbour City website, actually a website, and it shows you the location of each uh, piece of artwork. Ours is the very first near the bridge, and it'll be on the walking path for everybody to see. The installation of it will take place shortly. Uh, the council due to uh, occupation of the safety reasons, they will install it for us. We will be there supervising to make sure the alignment, etc. The angle of the, uh, the flat sides will, will impact, will be a visual impact for the community. Beautiful, perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, you've done a good job there. Yeah. Oh, look at that black, uh, put your eyes on it. Yeah. 